welcome back to the channel and we are back crappie fishing I know the last video not a lot of people watched it and that's okay um, maybe you didn't like wade fishing but we're back on the water catching these crappie and in today's video I had went out you see there's several good fish right here but I would went out and was trying to catch some fish for a neighbor for a fish fry and so we were really just trying to target keeper sized fish but here we're in 14 foot of water and had found some better fish and as you've seen in the intro I was by myself and my buddy Kenny had called and said hey because I'd asked him if he didn't want to go fishing and he said he wasn't really feeling well so I went out there and then he called and he's like hey I'm headed, headed that way so he came on and hopped in the boat and we went fishing and what you're going to get to see today is just an afternoon. I mean, it's already 6 o'clock. I forgot what I had to do. Maybe mow the yard or, I don't know, there's something, some kind of chore I had to do this on this afternoon. But we didn't get out there until 6 o'clock. And we're going to get to fish. I think it's going to be about two hours. But you're going to get about 20 minutes of that two-hour trip. But we wear them out. I don't know why they Oh, I know why the video's shaking, because I sped it up just to show y'all what was going on with all these fish. And you see a ton of good fish, and I had caught some before I'd started rolling the camera. I caught about four to six, I can't remember, uh, but not a whole lot. But I think I had about three or four that I had caught um, off of this this initial area. And they bit pretty good as soon as I got there, but they, as you can see, they got kind of finicky. I got this one here while... Kenny was retying something but yeah we're just out there just catching fish uh, and you see here this is a I believe this is a steak bed now I don't know for sure because I didn't put it out but I've seen it multiple times now and yeah I believe this is a steak bed so I've seen it multiple times and I just didn't turn the other camera on so I you don't have the live scope footage for a minute. I kind of went on a flurry. It just started popping their heads. A bunch of little fish. But the reason why I believe it was a steak bed is you don't really get hung in it. And I've seen it a couple different times at different angles. And it looks like it's just vertical uh, style structure. But it was piled up full of little fish. And you see there, we're just picking them off. That one might have went in the bucket. I don't know, but we was, we was catching them pretty good. And then uh, I go back there and realize, oh, I need to fix this. So here we got this live scope footage back. I believe that one there is, yeah, because I don't even have a pole in the water. Kenny, he just kind of floated his uh, bait over top of the structure and popped pretty good little fish there. Good, looks like about 11 inch here. I've been talking so much I kind of forgot to tell y'all to subscribe to the channel but yeah subscribe to the channel we actually filmed this week and I'm really excited about it got some drone uh, footage and that was really cool um, and also we caught some some good fish I haven't got to look at the footage yet but we've got that coming up next week and I'll be honest with you I'm editing this video it's almost midnight and uh, just been really busy. was on the water almost every night this week, either fishing or uh, doing some type of water sports activity. We actually spent two days pulling uh, kids and teenagers on tubes and having a big time with that. So definitely been a very fun-filled week. Um, but as you see here, Look at this, this, I, I don't even know in this particular picture if there is structure there. You can just see this huge mega school of fish as it's just moving through. We're just kind of dropping our baits down and uh, so you caught one there. Catching them as, I, I believe there's some structure on in there, but these are just a ton of, looks like about six to seven inch size crappie, but there's bigger crappie down in there a lot of times what you have to do is you'll drop and either smack them in the head or let's see I believe this one that's either me or 
that one. I think that was me. Yeah, so we're just trying to drop in amongst all of these fish. And a lot of times you'll you go over the top of the of the pile of fish like this here and the big ones might be sitting on top. Sometimes you have to drop down in amongst them and you just gotta be careful not to get snagged but try to catch them that way but I mean as you can see there's hundreds of fish and just because we're dropping our bait in there and presenting it to them you know they don't always uh, technically technically bite see and we're let's see somebody got one there Kenny popped one but and another thing that I'm doing there is I may have be seen bites and may not be letting them eat it because I'm trying sometimes I'll even take it and let the little fish spit it out because I'm I'm getting down in there I'm trying to entice something bigger uh, to eat it and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's just kind of giving you an image of you know what we were what we were seeing uh, another one of the objectives with today's video is just you know just to show you because uh, we've I guess it's been right at an hour that uh, we've been fishing you only got the first six minutes but they actually turned on even better uh, later in the day and you're gonna see that see he's on he was on and he's off um, let's see here I don't know which one of us that is see they're coming back up at the egg sinker these here these are smaller fish just trying to work our way through them because and I tell you I was actually on a we was fishing uh, maybe two weekends ago and big huge school of fish and I actually was able to see one fish in the school that was you know north of a pound um, and we dropped in on it and luckily it was the the bigger fish that hit it but you you know if you're not and it's like I tell uh, people that fish with me you know I can't tell you when to stay with a pile of small fish or and when to leave sometimes I'll I'll look at a pile and I won't see anything that really excites me and right there you're seeing a ton of bait fish and it's kind of amazing that we're actually able to give them to eat these artificial baits whenever they have so much bait you can see we're kind of pushing through it there uh, for these fish to eat actually went out this afternoon uh, just before dark and we were using a cast net to catch gizzard shad and actually saw um, two bigger fish busting up the bait balls and uh, and feeding and that was really cool but there you can see here there's just ton of bait everywhere I mentioned that we had done uh, some filming with a drone this week looking forward to getting that out to you we're probably also going to do some and I don't know if we'll film it I'm definitely going to be back on the creek fishing uh, if that's something y'all want to see if y'all if you like seeing videos uh, fishing on the creek you know leave a comment let us know I'm definitely know you like the live scope footage so we're going to continue bringing that I think I may have got some footage uh, using the cast net to catch bait I'll have to review that I'm not sure but uh, hey leave some comments let us know what you think about the videos if you if you don't really like them um, you don't have to comment uh, it's not going to hurt feelings I mean some people may not like the videos but there's something that maybe we you'd like to see or have questions go ahead and uh, you know leave the comments we'll try to address those in our upcoming video and I think I'm going to upload this and get some sleep I will uh, hope you all enjoy it and we'll see you on the water
So this clip here I wanted to show you, there's actually some better fish under uh, this tree. And look how we're dropping down below the tree, trying to entice these fish to come out. And got that one to look, but just could not get them to commit on, uh, on this evening for this particular trip. So see, you go back down there, you get his attention, come up, and no love. You see that one, it looks, and I, I think it might be of the bass nature. It looks like it might have been chasing something there right under the trolling motor. But cool footage. Just because you get the live scope and you see them, it looked like it's on there. Uh, never did feel anything, and of course, once you put a little pressure on it, still no fish. So what do you do? You just go find something else to fish. Another thing that was uh, I noticed that night was the, and I'm not going to call it interference. I don't know exactly what was causing it. Sometimes, sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. But on this particular evening, as the sun went down, we were getting a lot of, you can see there on the bottom, and um, you can adjust it. You can adjust your gain down to clear some of that up, but then you start losing uh, being able to see your bait and I think it's very important sometimes that you especially when the fish are being very finicky uh, that you're able to to see your bait
can't hold me down. Yeah, that wouldn't be real. 